let's take a look at this powerful anti-tank missile that Ukraine is reported to have been using against Putin. The main star for today is the powerful Javelin anti-tank missile. The Javelin is an American-made portable anti-tank missile that has been in service since 1996, replacing the M47 Dragon anti-tank missile. The FGM-148 Javelin is one of the world's most advanced portable anti-tank missile systems. It's a pricey piece of equipment, with each missile costing more than the target it destroys. Javelin is an infrared guided missile and it has already proved itself in several combats such as Iraq, Afghanistan, and Syria, demonstrating a solid system that should operate on almost any tank. It also became the first on-the-ground missile responder to emergencies putting its personnel at less risk than a standard guided missile system, all thanks to its lightweight design. The Javelin is so powerful that it has become a political issue on several occasions over who the United States sells or gives Javelins to. Within the US military, the Javelin appears to be on the verge of transitioning from an infantry-based system to one installed on vehicles. But the Javelin does not appear as elegant and deadly as its name suggests. It resembles a clumsy dumbbell measuring little more than one meter in length. Luckily, nice looks aren't required to blow up a tank. The Javelin Command Launch Unit, or CLU, features a robust infrared sensor with numerous viewing modes, featuring 4x optical zoom, 4x green illuminated thermal view, and a 12 times narrow vision zoom for targeting. The Missile Seeker also features a 4th 9x thermal imaging mode. As a result, the infantry can use the CLU as a scanning instrument. The system includes multiple protections to prevent or stop an unintentional launch. When loaded with a missile, the weapon weighs 50 pounds, with the missile accounting for most of the weight. That's a lot less weight than a wire-guided tow missile or other long-range missiles, which usually require a large tripod. Once the fire identifies a target and locks the infrared seeker onto it and pulls the trigger, the Javelin missile is propelled out of the launcher without utilizing its rocket motor in soft launch, causing comparatively little backblast. Missile attack backblast not only makes it so much easier for opposing forces to locate the launcher after it is fired, but it can also launch while inside enclosed spaces, such as from buildings or bunkers, courtesy to its soft launch design. On the other hand, Javelin's modest rearward blast is also extremely beneficial in keeping the operator alive. Nonetheless, because the launch blows back some gas, you shouldn't stand immediately behind it. But after that, the shooter can play Call of Duty on their phone since, unlike most long-range anti-tank missiles, the Javelin is a fire-and-forget device that requires no additional input after launch. Unlike semi-automatic command line-of-sight sack near systems like the wire-guided tow or laser-guided AT-14 Cornet, the Javelin personnel are free to duck into coverings and concealments rather than being compelled to remain fixed in position controlling the missile towards the target. A Javelin launches forward horizontally for a second after launch before igniting its rocket motor and climbing 150 meters into the air, known as a curveball shot. The missile's infrared seeker, which has gyroscopes and gimbals, uses thrusters to modify its trajectory so that it falls vertically into the infrared mark it has locked onto. The Javelin 127mm high explosive warhead can penetrate an average of 600 to 800 millimeters of rolled hardcore armor, which isn't pretty outstanding given that contemporary tanks now have composite armor that is extra effective against such warheads. However, it doesn't matter because it's still more than enough to invade the top armor of anything else out there, at least as long as other defensive measures aren't taken into account. Explosive Reactive Armor A layer of explosive bricks covering a tank designed to destroy the high explosives used by missiles is a typical defense that sometimes augments top armor. On the other hand, the Javelin has a dual-charge warhead designed to defeat the era by blasting out a gap in the tank's conventional armor, with an initial explosion at the front of the missile to take out the local era brick. The Javelin can also be used in direct attack mode to strike targets that are too close for the top attack or have full covers, such as a bunker or cave entrance. 
Although adequate for most combat circumstances, the Javelin's range of 2.5 kilometers is one of the missile's minor drawbacks. So how well does it work? The Javelin was created in the 1970s and 1980s when U.S. military authorities were terrified of being overrun by limitless hordes of Soviet tanks. The worry was exacerbated by the M47 Dragon missile's poor performance at the time. However, once the Cold War ended in 1996, the Javelin was ultimately accepted into the U.S. military and saw action for the first time in 2003 during the U.S. invasion of Iraq. Because the U.S. could not ground soldiers in northern Iraq at the time, it instead deployed special forces and paratroopers to battle alongside Kurdish Peshmerga warriors. With only four Javelin launchers, the U.S. forces launched 19 missiles, 17 of which hit, tearing down two T-55 tanks, eight MTLB armored vehicles, and several trucks. According to reports, all of the Javelin rounds were fired at a range of 2,200 meters or more, close to or exceeding the weapon's declared maximum range, with one strike claimed at 4,200 meters. During the Iraq War, Javelins destroyed numerous more tanks, including Type 69 tanks and Lion of Babylon T-72s, neither of which were cutting-edge varieties. As the traditional combat phase drew to a close, the Javelin's primary mission shifted to shooting smaller, vulnerable targets. The Javelin's proper targeting scope was excellent for detecting insurgent heavy weapons teams armed with guns, missiles, or recoilless rifles. Competing military weapon systems don't have the same combination of extended range and sharpness. Since its initial deployment in 1996, the Javelin has undergone numerous advancements. Let's take a closer look at three of the most important advancements it has gone through. The Javelin has been chiefly employed to hit soft targets and structures. A new version of the Javelin warhead has been produced with a deadlier blast fragmentation. It has a new warhead known as the FGM-148F, which is said to be equally as effective against tanks just like its contemporaries, while being no more expensive. Finally, a new long-range Javelin capable of shooting targets up to 4.5 kilometers away was recently tested. This is significant as one of the chief rationales for keeping the tow missile as the standard vehicle-mounted anti-tank weapon was its more extended range of nearly 5 kilometers. A long-range Javelin would seem to be superior. Having said that, the Javelin missile remains one of the most potent ground systems in the United States or even in the world, with plans to expand its capabilities and deploy it on a wider range of platforms. Indeed, confronting tanks and other armored vehicles will be possible with the powerful Javelin anti-tank missiles that will certainly guarantee a precision direct effect to destroy any adversaries. Now, to get the newest updates about the world, technology, breakthroughs, and other wonderful discoveries, make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.